the star, the hateful. Welcome, O5-6. You have one file pending review. Display file? Yes. Accessing file, SCP-1548. Item number, SCP-1548. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. Foundation satellites Malik Bell 1 through 10 will monitor the south pole of the sun for SCP-1548. Under Protocol Koyashvur, all Foundation space stations and off-planet bases within the solar system will have the monitoring of the sun as their secondary mission objective. Connections will be maintained with major space agencies under Operation Stygian Iris for enhanced monitoring of the anomaly with accurate information on the phenomena restricted to specified personnel. As it is not feasible to place limitations on all solar telescopes, it is expected that civilians will observe SCP-1548 on occasion. Foundation personnel embedded in scientific agencies will disseminate misleading information on SCP-1548 and all thaumaturgic symbols that manifest, describing them as unusual but natural phenomena. All other information of the anomaly and related symbols is subject to standard Foundation censorship protocols. Description SCP-1548 is the designation of various anomalous solar phenomena, primarily occurring at the south pole of the Sun. There are three types of known SCP-1548 events. SCP-1548-1 Six equidistant ovular sunspots approximately 40,000 kilometers by 15,000 kilometers in size, appear. The ends of the sunspots converge after 23 hours, often accompanied with the formation of a solar prominence. Footnote, a large gaseous feature that extends off the sun's surface, normally forming a loop shape that typically takes the shape of thaumaturgic symbols. A coronal mass ejection will then occur around the sunspots, lasting 11 hours, with the prominence dissipating after 5 hours. SCP-1548-2 begins similarly to SCP-1548-1. A solar prominence then forms from the site of the sunspots and breaks off from the sun, moving away from it and likely entering interstellar space. The event lasts for two hours. SCP-1548-3 Sunspots form thaumaturgical symbols, which range in size. This can occur in conjunction with other events, or separately. Unlike the two previous phenomena, these sunspots do not commonly manifest in any single area. The first recorded SCP-1548 event was on the 17th of May, 1983 where an SCP-1548-3 event was observed, showing thaumaturgic symbol 2201-V1, refer to Addendum 1. The event was classified as Extra Normal Event 9008 until similar occurrences were observed, leading to the classification of SCP-1548. Addendum 1, Thaumaturgical Symbol Identification the Department of Thaumaturgy has successfully identified and determined the nature of several symbols seen in SCP-1548. Below is a list of the symbols, denoted with V, if they are a variation of the symbol. V1 denotes the original or first discovered version of the symbol. TS-2001-V1, unnamed, only seen in SCP-1548. If inscribed on any telescopic device by a person, with thaumaturgic abilities, the device will show psionic entities with malicious intent toward the user. After a total of four hours of use, users without psionic abilities will experience symptoms of psychosis. TS-381-V2, known as the Califastian Isle among various occultist groups. When affixed or projected onto a material, it will strengthen the material, enhancing its ability to absorb kinetic and electromagnetic energy. Materials may be hidden from sight as well. TS-1817-V7, known as the Twelve Holy Owls of Serenithium, origin among humans unknown. When the symbol is affixed to a weapon or object used with the intent to harm, 
Any entity killed by the weapon will annihilate the immediate space around it. The size of the annihilation zone is proportional to the size of the entity killed. This annihilation zone has no effect on materials reinforced with TS-381. Of note is 61% of observed thaumaturgic symbols pertain to the anomalous Ortothan mythology and religious beliefs. Footnote: The central aspects of Ortothan mythology are that the universe is the second universe to exist, and that it has been protected from extra-universal invasions by seven guardian deities. Only one of these deities, Rachmolosan, the Holy Fourth, is said to be alive in the present day. TS-1817 originates from Ortothan occultists in the 1800s, and TS-381 has been used by members of the Church of the Second Hytoth, a prominent Ortothan group of interest, in avoiding capture by the Foundation. Why this is the case is unclear. Addendum 2, Event 1548-29 On the 23rd of December, 2016, Several SCP-1548-1 events occurred in rapid succession. Although interpretation of these symbols is still underway, TS-381-V2, TS-1817-V7, and TS-2201-V1 manifested multiple times during these events. Twenty non-anomalous or Totham language symbols and phrases for protection formed as well. Forty-seven hours later, Five SCP-1548-2 events occurred in the span of two hours. Over the next month, a dense cloud of ionizing radiation began forming around the solar system, surrounding the heliopause. Footnote: A region surrounding the solar system where solar wind collides with interstellar wind, creating a bubble around the solar system known as the heliosphere. Although initially at largely unnoticeable amounts, the cloud increased in magnitude until no light from the outside universe could enter by the 20th of January, 2017. The origin of the cloud is presumed to be from the sequence of SCP-1548 events, though the combined amount of particles produced was too small to form a structure on this scale. Of note is that Foundation telescopes have noticed thaumic tessellations. Footnote: Patterns of grids of polygons formed when high amounts of thaumaturgic energy is released, resembling grids of pyramids periodically forming along the cloud. As the night sky is now entirely altered, Foundation censorship protocols cannot be fully executed. The dissemination of incorrect scientific information regarding the solar system entering a dense cloud of cosmic dust is in progress. Scientific information describing the actual nature of the ionizing radiation cloud will be censored as per Contingency Galileo 2. Addendum 3. Recent Phenomena Following Event 1548-29, a high amount of significant anomalous phenomena have occurred. The following is a list of the events, updated as of the 26th of January, 2017. Date, 24th of December, 2016. Event Description The Falcon Light Footnote a commercial spacecraft made and launched by aerospace company SpaceX. Suddenly lost 50% of its mass during its flight to the ISS, causing the death of all crew. Foundation satellites captured video of the event, showing that half of the spacecraft disappeared along the midline, jettisoning any crew still inside into the Earth's atmosphere. Radio signals were received soon afterward from beyond the heliopause. Although suspected to originate from the other half of the spacecraft, the decoded symbols match no known spoken or written language. Notes: All launch plans for manned spacecraft have been cancelled, both inside and outside the Foundation. A cover story involving a faulty booster has been disseminated. Date, 29th of December, 2016. Event Description the International Space Station ceased standard communications and began broadcasting visual and auditory cognitohazards. All subjects exposed to any of the cognitohazards enter a trance state and eventually have their brain vanish. Two hours after, Foundation satellites detect a sharp increase in thaumaturgic particles in orbit, all found to be originating from the Sun. The ISS abruptly changes trajectory to follow a course that will result in re-entry certain to destroy the entire station 
in February of 2017. Notes. Classification of the ISS as an anomaly is pending approval. Date. 2nd of January, 2017. Event Description. SCP-2713 was found to be entirely empty. Most of the interior of the building had been destroyed. Claw marks, scorched walls, and blood strewn across the room indicate signs of a significant struggle. Notes. Reclassification to neutralized is pending approval. Date. 5th of January, 2017. Event Description During a political demonstration in front of the Reichstag in Berlin, Germany, a thaumaturgic way leading to an unknown pocket dimension opened near the protesters. Koru Archpriest Fera Antaeus, Church of the Second Titus leader and known person of interest, exited and announced that a shelter had been built. Further information is limited as all persons in the area promptly entered the way, including two undercover Foundation agents. The way closed immediately after. Notes. Censorship of the event is in progress. Date. 10th of January, 2017. Event description. A known eigenweapon. Footnote. Anomalous weapon of mass destruction. Was activated during protests at Times Square. A violent explosion destroyed the entirety of Midtown Manhattan, leveling surrounding buildings and severely damaging other nearby areas within a six-kilometer radius. The death toll is undetermined. A high number of Tatarian entities and demonic possessions have been observed in a 11-kilometer radius around the blast's epicenter. Notes. Persons with confirmed connections to the Chaos Insurgency have publicly blamed the event on a global shadow organization. Date. 19th of January, 2017. Event Description. SCP-179 established contact for a single moment, signing DEFEND, before descending below the sun's surface and vanishing. Notes: The frequency of SCP-1548 events has dramatically increased since this event, with at least two occurring per day. Date: 20th of January, 2017 Event Description The radiation cloud fully obscures the night sky. Global amnesticization under the Anui Protocol is enacted by the Foundation and completed at 78% efficiency. Several paramilitary organizations, which includes world governments and anomalous groups, take this opportunity to attempt to further their own personal goals. Notes: Joint Foundation and Global Occult Coalition forces have been assembled to combat these groups. Efforts are ongoing. Date: 22nd of January. 2017. Event Description SCP-2821, following a sudden expansion in size to a diameter of 1.7 kilometers, vanished. The nearby Lunar Area 32 suffered a minimum of 38 casualties and lost 10 anomalies from the expansion enveloping and destroying sections of the facility under the anomaly's different laws of physics. Based on readings from Minkowski space-time monitors, it is hypothesized that SCP-2821 formed a wormhole leading to another region of the universe. Notes: Misinformation to explain the newly formed hemispherical crater on the lunar surface is being disseminated. Date: 25th of January, 2017. Event description: Experimental Foundation devices began detecting tachyons moving at undetermined faster-than-light speeds. Analysis found that these are likely a new form of SCP-3417 transmission, though with major deviations from their standard contents. Footnote. Transmission contents have typically contained mentions of extraterrestrial civilizations and Orthothan mythological stories. This was observed until being abruptly cut off, presumably due to the radiation cloud. Notes. Further information is below. Date. 30th of January, 2017. Event description. Currently under review. Notes. In A. Transmission 3417-62. Begin log. SCP-3417. All Orthothans here. All Orthothans must listen now. Unknown symbol 30. Stars lost. Unknown. A unit of time. 
ago the first invasion occurred. The gods were unprepared, never comprehending the fragility of the universe after its creation. Second city, lost. The extra-universal abominations invaded, and the gods did not die. Their duty in protecting existence. Transmission interference for one minute. SCP-3417 Would not have won without Ortothans. Unknown Symbol 31 Lost. The gods defended Ortothans and existence. Ortothans defended the gods and existence. Illuminated Star System? Lost. When united, we are strong. Transmission interference for 25 minutes. SCP-3417 12 stars? Lost. The worlds must fight. The transmission stops. End log. Joint Foundation and Global Occult Coalition forces have been mobilized for large-scale containment and threat neutralization operations. Cooperation with various governments to assist in cover-ups has begun, though these measures are hindered by the decisions of the Latvian, Estonian, and Georgian governments in declassifying documents on anomalous phenomena and Cold War paratech. All major containment sites are now under level 5 high security lockdown until further notice. Addendum 4, Experiment 2154-37 On the 12th of June, 1999, it was determined by a unanimous O5 vote to enact a long-term plan to explore beyond the heliopause. Mission objectives were to confirm or deny hypotheses regarding extraterrestrial SCP objects and collect data on anomalous phenomena beyond the heliopause. As such, the Foundation probe Seraph-1 was constructed, then successfully launched on May 9th, 2000. On the 27th of January, 2017, an SCP-1548-1 event was initiated prior to Seraph-1 reaching the heliopause, forming the thaumaturgic symbols used in predicting the future. Following the SCP-1548-1 event, an SCP-1548-2 event was initiated and launched. This one, however, deviated significantly from normal trajectories and curved sharply about 100 AU away from the sun towards Seraph-1. Seraph-1 crossed the heliosphere two days before contact was lost from the intense radiation inside of the solar prominence. All information collected by Seraph-1 is currently under review and pending declassification. End of SCP-1548 file.